So we're going to keep y'all along. We're just going we're gonna to do a little study. And uh, we're going to go on home. Uh, we're going to have a prayer and then we're going to die. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this day that you have blessed us with. Lord, we, uh, we're asking for your mercy in uh, uh, this hour and, and in this time. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody gets sick in this room, Lord. Well, Lord, yeah. we're asking right now in the name of in Jesus, name Lord, that you send your healing power and your yeah. protective power. Yeah. Lord, that we may study your word, Lord, mm -hmm. and with clarity, Lord, yeah. and that we may learn that which you will have for us to know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. In Jesus' name, we Jesus. do pray. Amen. 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 Entanglement. That's that's our word for the night. Our subject for the night is entanglement. We're coming out of the book of um, Luke, the 11th chapter, verses 14 through 28. Luke, the 11th chapter, verses 14 through 28. Um, when you're in an entanglement, it's uh, usually used in a relationship type <laughs> term. Um, where people say they, they are entangled with somebody or mm -hmm. um, they, they have uh, been with somebody. So they, they call it entanglement. It says the action or the fact of being entangled, entangling or being entangled, a complicated or compromised relationship or situation. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, Luke 11, verses 1 through 14. And also we'll be um, somewhat dealing in Mark 4, verses 14 through 23. Um, entanglement. We all have that. Been, and I have entangled myself with the AC on this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Some entanglements uh, we can we can we can avoid. Some entanglements we can get out of. Uh, but as the de definition of the word, uh, some entanglements uh, mean it's compromising or or complicated, mm -hmm. meaning that you have to watch. Uh, I I bid you to. To, to be careful who you entangle yourself with or right. mm -hmm. what you entangle yourself with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can financially drain you. Mm -hmm. uh, you might have some hobbies that you like that's financially more than what you can pay. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, and, uh, so we have to be careful because when you entangle yourself with Mm -hmm. uh, with special things that are not of God, right. it's for your detriment. It's not. It's not going to help you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it, it, it's to hurt you. Mm -hmm. uh, so the word. Uh, so Luke eleven. Uh, Luke eleven. We're going to start at verse fourteen. It says, "And uh, he was casting out devils, mm -hmm. and it was done. And it came to pass when the devil was gone out, he." The dumb spank, mm -hmm. and the people won. Mm -hmm. But some of them said he casted out devils through Bezalel, mm -hmm. the chief of the devils. Mm -hmm. And others tempting him sought him for a sign from heaven. Now, know you, I know all of us in this room are old enough to know that sometimes you ain't got no business in time yourself. Yeah. Amen. Then you come around, you all of us have done it and told the Lord, give you a sign. Is it right or wrong? You know it's wrong. The Holy Spirit don't let you do it wrong. Whatever it is, if you have entangled yourself, you got to whip your way out of it. You got to get through. In the beginning of this chapter, Jesus talks about uh, uh, the Lord telling the, 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 the disciples how to pray. And he, he showed them how to pray. And then later on, he started doing miracles. And he got with somebody that couldn't speak. Uh, and so people knew who it was. And he got with him that couldn't speak. It said, the Bible says he, he had a devil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of times, when we entangle ourselves with things of the world, right. or with things we ain't got no business, mm -hmm. I can say all the time, there's mm -hmm. a devil present. Yeah. Amen. Uh, yes, yes. Make sure it ain't you. Amen. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we entangle we ourselves oftentimes with things that we don't, uh, because of our flesh. Mm -hmm. And our flesh allows the devil to come in and get rule over our lives mm -hmm. when God wants to rule over our lives. So we have to be careful with these entanglements we get. I don't care if it's at the grocery store. Right. Be careful about your entanglements, your conversation, mm -hmm. because I might be on the other side listening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. right. Oftentimes we do walk up on um, church folk, Amen. same Amen. folk, Amen. and uh, they talking about things that you need to blow your mind. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And sometimes it be preachers. 
Mm -hmm. huh? Sunday school teachers. Mm -hmm. And so we have to watch how we entangle ourselves because somebody yeah. is always watching. Mm -hmm. Somebody is always listening. Mm -hmm. Somebody knows somebody that know you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he says here, so he cast out the devil. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they call him the devil, call Jesus the devil. I'll be going to tell him how to pray and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to be careful how we entangle ourselves with folks. So yeah. Jesus entangled himself. Mm -hmm. With this, with this person that had a, had a devil, mm -hmm. it didn't say he was sick. Reading why he speak, it said he had yeah, a devil. Mm -hmm. He had devils with an S on, mm -hmm. so he had more than one. Mm -hmm. well, and so, and so we 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 have to be careful, even when we go do good, yeah. that our good, as the word says, be not evil spoken. Mm -hmm. And so we have to be careful how we we do things. Mm -hmm. Uh, make sure we do things on the up and up as Christian folks. Yeah, you man. know what I mean, you know. Yeah, a young man. lady called me 12 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no business going on how 12 o'clock at night. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, even if even if I take my wife with me. Yeah. Amen. Wait right. till tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody riding by might not see my wife, but they right. see my car. Yeah. 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 So you get in time. Yeah, you get in Same thing for the, for the women. You know, yeah. same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah. We ain't got no business cooking another man's stuff. All right. And he All come right. to your late house late at night and then your husband gone to work or you, uh -huh. you know, gone to work and you, you there alone. And so and then I ride by and I see your car there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, so, so we have to be, that's what we deal with tonight. The things that we allow to entangle ourselves. Mm -hmm. And Jesus allowed this because he was the son of God. He was sent to do just what he did. Mm -hmm. Now, the very fact of him casting out the devil mm -hmm. and the dumb speaking, should have been enough sign for everybody. Amen. Amen. Uh, you don't need no other sign. Amen. If you knew he was born like that or he got like that, something happened to him and nobody else could fix him. And That's this man, right. that was the sign. Amen. <laughs> that was the sign. Right. And then it says, uh, verse 17, it says, But knowing their thoughts, he said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, mm -hmm. and the house is divided against a house mm -hmm. fell. I, I, I do see Christian <laughs> folks uh, do things mm -hmm. and then they say, well, God understands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he do understand. Mm -hmm. But if the Holy Spirit told you not to do it, mm -hmm. before you went and did it, yeah. mm -hmm. it ain't no understanding there. Right. The only understanding is that you have to get understanding what you have entangled yourself with. Mm -hmm. And then you cry out to God mm -hmm. for protection or help. Uh -huh. And you have no desire mm -hmm. to get out of whatever you in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. Yeah. Right. All right. Then he says here, um, if Satan also divide against himself, mm -hmm. how shall his kingdom stand? Mm -hmm. Because ye say that I cast out devil. Mm -hmm. Beth, Beth, Beth. So he is, he's trying to Bethesda. So he's trying to reason with them and let them know that he's not with Satan. Mm -hmm. He's with, with God the Father. Mm -hmm. And then he says, if Bethesda cast out devil, by whom do your sons cast them out? Mm -hmm. Therefore shall they be your judges. Mm -hmm. But if what with the finger of God cast out devils, mm -hmm. no doubt the kingdom of God is upon you. So he's letting them know who, who he is and uh -huh. what his job is. Uh -huh. you know, uh, we, we have to, uh, like I say again, uh, watch ourselves when we entangle ourselves with, with, with other stuff. And, and, yeah, right. and, and as yeah, Christians, right. we ain't got no business running out here uh, to the root doctor. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said it because a whole lot of Christians is doing it. Mm -hmm. And then Ruth Dr. Tell you, you said the 23rd song mm -hmm. and everything gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. He tried to entangle himself in right. what God really said. Mm -hmm. He tried to use it. Uh, we we have to be careful how we entangle ourselves mm -hmm. with with uh long shots. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not the place to go. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Right. Might not have no other way, but that's not the place to go. Right. You're gonna make it. 
and you're gonna pay more than what you thought. Yeah. You know, we, we shouldn't entangle ourselves with thieves on the street, bringing it back and clean it to your house and sell it to you. Uh -huh. You entangle yourself and buy it. You can get charged for that. So I'm just trying to help somebody tonight to understand, you know, you, you might better buy it got meat. Uh, somebody coming by your house selling stolen meat. Well, you know, I ain't gonna get no amen. <laughs> sometimes, they, sometimes they can bring you your favorite, your favorite soap. Uh, then, then he said we'll go on down to the uh, 23rd verse. Uh, I'm sorry, 21. When a, when a, a strong man um, keeps his place, his good are in place. But when the stronger, when the stronger than he shall come upon him and overthrow him, he mm -hmm. take it from him all his armor, mm -hmm. wherein he trusts, mm -hmm. and divided uh, his spoils. Mm -hmm. He that is not with me is against me, mm -hmm. and he that gathers not with me mm -hmm. scatters. Mm -hmm. So he letting them know, those that are with me, you, you'll understand what I'm saying here mm -hmm. uh, about entangling yourself, mm -hmm. uh, because Jesus is teaching his, truly trying to teach his disciples What's what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you got those that are sitting amongst them. All right. mm -hmm. that ain't his disciple. Mm -hmm. And it's in every setting, every home. You got folks that you might be sitting with your friend, mm -hmm. but they really ain't your friend. All right. mm -hmm. And you entangle yourself with them, and they seeking to destroy you or take something from you. Yeah. The same way with family. If that's because they're your blood family, don't mean they family. All right. All right. All right. Jesus said that those that does the will of the Father <laughs> are my mother, my brother, my mother. You know, so so we 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 got to be careful how even when we sit with family, if there are uh, motives or the objectives of different than Christianity, then we got to be careful how we. That don't mean you can't love them. All right. But that don't that just mean you can't stay up on them. All right. All right. And so. Uh, and then he says here in the 21st verse, when the unclean spirit is gone out of the man, he just talked about the house, about the strong man in the house, right? Mm -hmm. He said, he walketh through dry places seeking rest mm -hmm. and find none. He said, I will return to my house whence I came out. Mm -hmm. And when he cometh, he findeth swept and gone. Mm -hmm. You know, the devil, he's seeking to get into you now. Yeah. You living your best life when you came up out of the world. Mm -hmm. Stuff started healing up. Your liver got clear. Mm -hmm. Your eyes don't got clear. Mm -hmm. You started, your finances done came together. Mm -hmm. Might not be what you want, but it's better than what it was. Right. Yeah. Right. You know? And so the devil, he wants you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're a pillar of the community now. All right. Those right. of you that are saved, mm -hmm. sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, you're a pillar of the community of Christ. I didn't make you that, Christ made you that. Amen. And so the devil, he looking and he very interested Amen. in selling you one of them vacuum cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to have to rent him out of the house because he ain't going to be by yourself. By himself. He's going to have two or three more with him now because he see the house is clean. And so he, he wants to sell you something. Mm -hmm. And so and, and, at that point, we're going to move over to, to Mark. Mark talks about uh, the soil. And it talks about throwing seed. We, we, we've done that teaching. There's two different teachings here. So we've done that teaching before. I just want to try to mm -hmm. coincide so you can see how when you entangle yourself with things, mm -hmm. how things are perceived and how you miss it. Uh, Mark 4 and 14. He says, the sower sower the word. Mm -hmm. And these are they which by the wayside where the word was sown, but when they heard, Satan came immediately and taketh away the word that is sown in their heart. Mm -hmm. And these are likewise which are sown on stony ground, who when they heard the word, immediately received it with gladness. Mm -hmm. And have no root in themselves. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, they might have been shouting. They were happy because they received the word, but they were they weren't entangled with the rights in the right place. Mm -hmm. And the word, you're right, they couldn't hold it. It just fell on in the crack somewhere uh -huh. and just came up, uh -huh. and the roots couldn't get deep. Mm -hmm. And then it says, uh, it says here, and <clears throat> and having no root in themselves. And, and so endure but a time mm -hmm. after the uh, when after affliction, 
afterwards when affliction and persecution arise, mm -hmm. for the word's sake, immediately they will what? Y'all know anybody get mad because the preacher preached about something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, or somebody said something to them about something they were doing they ain't had no business because they won't root it right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So so this is what this is what uh, entanglements mm -hmm. are. When God has shown you something in someone's life and you go to minister to them mm -hmm. and you feel bewildered when you get through talking with them, mm -hmm. don't entangle yourself with them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Let them go. Mm -hmm. You know how it is when we, we talk to different mm -hmm. ones. Sometimes it's family members. Sometimes other folks feel like that with us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't waste your time entangling yourself right. and getting your spirit all messed up. Yeah, because the yeah. devil come and steal what word is in you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and cause you to do other things. Mm -hmm. That's what entanglements do. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we're going to go right on back over into the week. We, 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 um, you can read the rest of Mark 4 and uh, 14, 23 later. Um, Luke, uh, in Luke uh, 25, he says, and when he come, he finds sweat and gone. Mm -hmm. Then he goes and takes to him seven other spirits, mm -hmm. more wicked than himself. Mm -hmm. And they enter in and dwell there. You see that? Mm -hmm. And the last day of the man is worse than the first day. Because, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. see, you know the old song, you know the high post said they'll lay down their they'll lay down their salvation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I lay my Lay my religion down. Yeah, lay my, yeah, my religion down. You know how we do. Sometimes we lay it down and we think we can pick it back up. You didn't have it. You, you, if you can lay it down, you can pick it back up. So, so, so don't practice that. Don't practice entangling yourself with those things. Uh, because you'll find yourself trying to lay it down. You can't lay it down. The Holy Spirit won't let you lay it down. Now your flesh... On the other hand, step up, but then right. you got to go and pull your flesh back. That's right. Why? Because you got salvation. Mm -hmm. right. You got salvation in the Lord, not your flesh, right? Mm -hmm. So don't entangle yourself with your flesh. Mm -hmm. It's hard, but we can do it. Yeah, because yes, the Holy yes, Spirit yes. gives us power. Amen. Mm -hmm. Then he says, he brings in seven spirits more wickeder than itself. Mm -hmm. So it's a dangerous place yeah. to be entangled. Mm -hmm. And then verse 20, 27, and, and it came to pass, as he spoke these things, a certain woman of the company, company lift up her voice mm -hmm. and said unto him, mm -hmm. Blessed is the womb that bare thee, mm -hmm. and the paps which thou hast sucked. Mm -hmm. But he said, Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of God, mm -hmm. and keep it, and keep it. Now, this is a sermon in, 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 in this, and I'm going to close it. This is a sermon in just what the woman had said. Uh -huh. uh, she called us a blessing, right? Mm -hmm. But he gave her a message. Mm -hmm. And that message was for all of us. Blessing is the one that hear the word mm -hmm. and keep the word. Mm -hmm. If you could not keep the word, why would Jesus say that? Mm -hmm. Everybody else hearing on everything else Jesus said. Mm -hmm. But if you can't keep it, why would he say it? Mm -hmm. You have the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. right helping you. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Amen. Yeah, you have Amen. the Holy Spirit. Even when you even when you have entangled yourself, mm -hmm. you still can keep the word. Amen. Amen. Ask him to forgive you and keep on moving. Yeah. See, because when he asked we ask him to forgive you, mm -hmm. and you have been in an entanglement, whatever that entanglement may be, it could be uh Food, eating the wrong stuff, mm -hmm. drinking the wrong stuff, mm -hmm. talking the wrong stuff, mm -hmm. yes. living the wrong stuff. Mm -hmm. When you come to yourself, ask mm -hmm. the Lord to forgive you. Yes, Lord. And he yes. throws in the seat yes. of forgiveness. Yes. 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 That means it didn't happen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Thank you, Lord. Then you get Amen. on up and you keep on walking. Amen. Don't entangle with yourself with people that keep on reminding you uh, of where you've been. Uh, right. Every one of us has a history. Amen. Amen. So I don't want to entangle myself with folks that continue to tell me what I did yesterday. Amen. Yesterday is gone. Amen. I'm working on tomorrow right. with my present day. Yes. You know? So what I did on yesterday, yeah, I remember. Uh, you don't need no back there. Right. I don't need I ain't trying to go back there. Amen. If you push me too hard, I might have to go back. Amen. So, 
So we have to be careful how we can allow their, those entanglements of life mm -hmm. to trap us. Entanglements are meant for traps. Amen. You know, you know, I'm gonna say this and then we'll we'll have prayer to close out. You know, when most of us when we go to the doctor, the doctor tell you what you should not eat, right? Mm -hmm. He tell you what you should be doing. Mm -hmm. Don't stuff smell the best when you <laughs> Cause you don't been to the doctor. <laughs> Huh? Like, boy, that walk with that big back, everything sound good, smell good when you ride back. You ain't even thought about it before you went to the doctor. But most of us have in our mind, as soon as I go to the doctor, I mean, what I want to eat. You know, because you got so many days or months before you had to go back, and you were entangling yourself. You know, and I already told you what the word was. The yeah. same thing when we get saved. Yeah. Uh, you said, well, I'm already out here. I'm going to have a good time. Yeah. You're about to die. You're about to die. It's meant for a trap. Right. It's an entanglement sent from hell. Right. Sent from the devil. Right. To entangle you in something you ain't had no business yeah. to yeah. being entangled with. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a word prayer and we'll close it out. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this night. We yeah. thank you, Lord, for your thank grace you. and your mercy. Thank you. We thank you, Lord, and we continue to pray for those, Lord, that are less yeah. fortunate, uh -huh. for those, Lord, that have health problems, yeah. for those, Lord, that have financial needs. Yes. Lord, somebody's looking for a home tonight. Yes. Father, somebody need a car to get to work. Mm -hmm. Somebody even need a job. Yes. Yes. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for providing all uh -huh. things for mm -hmm. that which we need, Lord, yeah. giving us yeah. some. Yeah. Even more, Lord, than that which we want sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Father, we ask for special blessings. We come out tonight. <coughs> In Jesus' name, we yes. do pray. Amen. 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 God bless y'all. God bless you. Amen. Bless you.